fares. And when the transportation fares increased, it translated into an increase in food prices. And therefore, in food price inflation and on overall inflation. In fact, one, the pricing by the BDCs was very, very worrying for us. One moment which gave me a lot of sleepless nights personally was when at one point the forward exchange rate of 19 CDs to the dollar was used to price fuel at the pump. 19 CDs to the dollar as a forward exchange rate. And therefore, we were faced. How much higher could it go? We were faced with a very critical situation because we did not have enough foreign exchange reserves to meet this persistent demand. Today, you've seen what has happened in countries like Sri Lanka, when they face the same problem. Sri Lanka went on its knees, fuel shortages, power outages, and so on. Today, you are seeing that in Kenya, where they are facing a significant shortage of foreign exchange results, reserves in Kenya. And therefore, you are seeing petroleum queues in Kenya today because they don't have enough foreign exchange. So we had to think outside the box, outside the textbook, to see how do we prevent Ghana from getting to this situation where we are unable to buy fuel and unable to power uh, our um, generating plants and so on, which, which run on, 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 on fuel and so on. And this is where the thinking for the goal for oil came in. We had reached 23 CDs per liter for diesel, right? At that time. 23 CDs per liter. So we said, look, we don't have foreign exchange in, uh, that, that we can count on at the bank, but what this country has is gold. And gold is a foreign reserve asset. And so we said that instead of waiting to export to earn foreign exchange to get the dollars, we can dig up the gold in Ghana. And that is foreign exchange. And therefore, we don't need uh, foreign exchange to go and buy the oil directly. We can use our CDs. CDs to buy the gold, use the gold, transform it. Uh, either directly by butter or transform it into dollars and then pay for the oil. The oil will be supplied and then they sold by the OMCs. We get the CDs, recycle it by buying the gold, pay for the oil and so on. And this is just a simple framework that gold for oil is. So by so doing, we are able to get a hold of on this rampant increases in the price of fuel and also in the exchange rate. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to note that the gold for oil policy is the first policy of its kind in Ghana since independence to address this type of balance of payments crisis that we face. In my humble opinion, uh, my humble opinion, this is the most important macroeconomic policy intervention to deal with the exchange rate depreciation, fuel price, food price, and inflation nexus that we have had. We have not only seen, as a result of the policy, we have not only seen a decline in prices from the 23 CDs per liter to around 12 CDs per liter, we have also seen stability in the exchange rate as we predicted. And I must say, all tanks should go to the Ministry of Energy, to BOST, to MPA, to the Bank of Ghana, Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources, and the PMMC 